Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm not sure if anyone can hear me. Let's do a sound check. Um, let's see if anyone can hear me. What the heck here? Okay. Oh, good morning, Alice. <laughs> wow, good morning. <laughs> why we why are we saying wow? I couldn't I I don't know. I couldn't hit the button. Good morning, Lynn. Hey, good morning, Mamie. Everyone can hear me. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. How is everyone this morning on this crazy, crazy, crazy Thursday? Uh September 2nd. Here we are with uh, our last color along. Good morning, Sandra. I haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're okay. Um so <clears throat> we have a lot to do today last color along of volume 16 in a couple of weeks volume 17 begins i have a lot to share with you this morning so we're going to give everyone a few minutes to get here because um it's been some crazy wild weather happening around everywhere right so uh this is a good time for all of us to kind of check in and make sure that we're all okay so how is everyone holding up through um, all of this crazy, crazy, crazy weather. Um, how did you do, Sandra, with um, weather in your area? I saw on the news that there was some crazy things happening. Um, I'm just going to get my, my page set up. We want to make sure that we're all okay, right? Kind of want to make sure that we're, we're all good. Scarlett and Paisley are, are super duper today. Apparently, they need something else, though. So, All right, so let me go get Scarlett and Paisley their last biscuit or their last something. And we're going to get started in just a couple of minutes. We've got a monochromatic page this morning. How's it going with you, Lynn, Priscilla? You're close to me. Pretty pretty wild weather we're having, right? Let's get Scarlet and Paisley something. Hey, Louisa, I'm fine, Alice is saying, but got to watch the water level in the dam. Oh, my goodness. I, I know we were talking about that yesterday. That is incredible. Uh, Mamie is saying we are fine in Northwest Ohio. Okay, awesome. Lynn, oh, good, Lynn. Lynn says, I'm okay. Lots of roads flooded in the area. No plans to go anywhere. You know, um, I saw on the news yesterday there was a lot of a lot of stuff happening. Let me, um, let me direct, here, Paisley, and let me direct uh, Gene Mellinger to us. Um, so we have a lot to talk about today, or I have a lot to talk about. I don't know. I've got a lot of stuff I want to share. Hey, Melody. Sandra says house repairs, um, house repairs complete. Finally, no water in the basement. Hoo hoo. There's water in my basement today. I haven't even, um, well, I did go look this morning, but I haven't done anything about it yet because I just really wasn't in the moody mood of putting on my boots. <laughs> so. Oh, I decided to wait, you know. Hey, good morning to Dawn. We had, uh, my phone did, did do an alert this morning, though, at 2.30 a.m., and I'm like, what is that noise, that's beeping noise? That we had a tornado, wa tornado watch. We didn't have a warning, we had a watch um, for the entire state. So that was pretty crazy, right? Like, I've never, I've never lived through a tornado. So um, I, I don't know. We were talking about... I was, we would, I don't know, where would I go? I don't know what I would do. I don't really have a middle room that would be safe. Anyway, I hope that we can take this hour this morning to talk about all good stuff rather than all of the crazy stuff. But I just want to make sure that everyone is, um, is safe and that everyone is okay. So this morning we are coloring our last page from Color Along Volume 16, which is a monochromatic page. Well, the page is not monochromatic, but we're going to color it in the monochromatic style. And I am going to use um, Ashley Nicole Art's woodless colored pencils today. I haven't used these in a long time. And I'm going to tell you the reason I decided to use them is because look at the colors. There's 36 colors in this, and there's a lot of blues. So I thought I would go with the blue. 
Finally, Gene Mellinger. Sorry about that, Gene. I was having problems signing in too. This morning I had no, I couldn't get onto Facebook at all this morning. Um, so, but we're all here. So just want to make sure that everyone's safe, Gene. I know that you have crazy weather in your area, but we just want to kind of do a check-in, make sure everyone's okay, um, and then move on and talk about good stuff instead of all of this craziness that's happening in the world, right? An hour of fun. Wow, did you have storms going through last night? Dawn says, we had nothing that I know of, but power did go out for a while. Yeah, we had crazy storms last night here. It was crazy. Um, a lot of places are flooded around me. Um, what else happened? A lot of people have no power. I'm fine though. So I'm in the city. So I'm just, I'm not, I didn't really get, we didn't get hit. Um, so I don't know. They say there's going to be a water, sh water, sh water shortage, right? People are saying there's a water shortage out there. So maybe uh, we need to take advantage of, um, I don't know, scooping up some water, Jean, right? Jean can go outside and start, start bottling up her own water. <laughs> That is so crazy. Thank you for sharing that, Melody. I appreciate it, my friend. All right, so let's see. I'm trying to gather my blues. Um, I've got some crazy blues in here, so let's see what we have. I have uh, China Blue, which I really think is a really, really pretty color. Hey, Bev Larson, how about the flooding? I know, the flooding in New York and New Jersey. Um, oh, my God. Good morning again. Oh, okay, that's Bev Larson. So, um... Let's see what's happening here with these colors. Let's take a look at what these colors look like. They look nothing like what the pencil looks like. This is China Blue. Looks nothing like it. Prussian, which I love the name. I don't know why. I think I just like the P and the R sound. It's more like fall here now in Indiana, Louisa is saying. Yes, here too. I have a sweater on. <laughs> I was like, I can get out. I mean, I'm not hot. The air condition is not on. Um, it feels weird without the hum of uh of the ac in my house i'm starting to hear every hear sounds i've never never heard before i'm going to give my speaking of sounds i'm just going to give this pencil a quick sharpen it's kind of reminding me it's today's reminding me of you know when you drive your car and you turn down the the music when you turn down the music and you're like, what's that sound in my car, you know? So that's what today's reminding me of. It's reminding me that, what's that sound in my car? But it's really like, what's that sound in my house? Yes, these are woodless pencils, Bev. Um, can you hear them clinking, clickety-click? I love this weather too, Dawn. My windows are open also, but I don't really like to open the windows too much because then the dogs start barking. And then I can't scream like a maniac to tell them to be quiet because I'm afraid my neighbors are going to think I'm crazy. But no, I don't really do that. But then they start barking. But um, I'm going to start coloring with these blues, monochromatic, one color, right? And well, I'm never a shorts person, so I always have long pants on. But I lo I'm loving that I have a sweater on and I'm not hot. I'm loving that the wind is blowing. It's actually kind of very, it's sunny outside right now. To me, this is great weather. You know? This one is electric blue. This is the color I'm using now. Electric blue. I do have a piece of paper underneath it. I don't know why. It's not going to bleed through. 68 degrees where Melanie is. What, Melanie. Melanie. Melody. Oh, my goodness. Did you turn the heat on, Bev? Yeah, I'm not turning the heat on. Let's be serious. <laughs> Dawn. <laughs> you know, it's, Dawn says, I scream anyways. You know what? Who was, was I doing a class? Were we doing painting class, Dawn? When I said, uh, said to the dogs, okay, now I can talk to, now let me just uh, use my very stern voice that I wouldn't use during a normal color along. Um, I don't know. Sometimes you just kind of have to reel them in, don't you think? Don't you think sometimes you just have to say, uh, you know, use your big dog voice for the big dogs. I don't know. Sometimes they get a little nuts. Scarlett's got this new thing where after she eats, she decides to get on the couch and roll around like a maniac. And I guess she's barking at what I would call dog monsters. And that are invisible and only visible to her, apparently. Um, 
like a nut. And Paisley's new thing now is to snooze all day long. And then around 8 o'clock at night, she gets like a second wind and decides to just be a nut. So I, I, I don't know. These crazy dogs is all I can say. Yes, it was. It was that, right? We were doing a painting class. There was only a few of us. I said, hold on. I have to let them. I have to get after these dogs in my like, you know, my voice I would not use during a, a color along where all these people could could be listening to me. I would really sound like a crazy person. It was funny. I always scream out the door for the big door to stop eating poop. Oh, stop. Yeah, me too. I'm always doing that. Me too. Stop eating poop. Actually, I don't even say that. I just scream. Do you ever just scream at the dog or scream for something and you, all you do is just find yourself going um, like, Rawr! like that kind of noise. Like, that's what ends up happening to me. I end up just like, no words come out. It's just like a garbled type uh, word that comes flying out of my mouth. Keyboard. We know it's your keyboard, Bev. It's okay. It's your signature it's the signature of Bev. We always know it's Bev. It's okay. That's fine. I always think of when Johanna Basford commented about your keyboard and always thought to myself, does this mean that Bev knows Johanna Basford? I think it is. Right? See, Dawn gets it. It's like no words come out. The other day, actually, I was sitting on, this is crazy. I was sitting on my front porch and these people across the street from me have this little teeny tiny dog. I say teeny tiny because the dog is literally as big as some of Scarlett and Paisley's toys. So um, they let the dog out of the car off a leash, which don't even get me started on that part of it, in the middle of the street, and the dog almost got hit by a car. And I was on my front porch, and I immediately, my gut instinct was like, ah! like like just like a nut and the people that I was sitting on the front porch with were like what's the matter like I gave them like a little bit of a of a heart attack you know and they said why when I told them what I was upset about what was making me scream uh they were like but it's not even like that's that's like three or four houses away what are you screaming about I just couldn't help it I was trying to get someone's attention to get the dog I don't know why they keep doing it, but they need to put that dog on a leash. I feel like bringing them on. I'm going to hang one on their door that says, here's a little gift for you. Please save me from a heart attack and uh, put your dog on a leash. That's what I say, right? Anyway, what else is going on in the coloring book world? Anything else? Now, what are we going to do about these candles? What's the, the flame? I guess we could just kind of add some yellow to the flame. Even though it's a monochromatic page, we could do a pop of yellow. So what else did I want to tell everybody? Um, let's see. Let's let let's start with our uh, with our announcements, right? Our meeting announcements. Um, so today is the last day of Color Long Volume Sixteen. Can you believe it? Sixteen volumes. Before I even talk about Volume Seventeen, let me just say thank you to all of you for sticking with me for sixteen volumes of. Color Along books, Color Along videos, 22. I have to do, use my, my calculator to figure out what how many that is. Let's see what it is. Let's see how many videos this is. So we've got 16 books times 22 Color Alongs. This is Color Along number 352. Oh my, 352. So... What do you think? And this is Color Along number 352 of my own Color Alongs from my own Color Along books. Oh my goodness. I don't know. That's a lot of Color Alongs. That's 352 hours of hanging with me, right? All of you listening to me, thank you. You don't know how much it's really greatly, greatly appreciated. So cannot even believe it. I remember when I first started doing Color Alongs, I was sitting here all by myself. Can you believe it, Melody? All by myself, talking to myself, one or two people. Um, what Color Alongs have evolved to is really amazing to me. They've evolved into, um, I mean, you all say it too. You call them meetings. Or they've evolved into a kind of a, a community gathering. They've evolved into um, a learning session, uh, announcements. Um, you know, it's almost like it's instead of sending out an email to everyone, I can just 
talk to you. I, I, I get so frustrated when I send out an email newsletter, by the way. It's probably the most challenging thing that I do. And this week, I didn't even send one out because that's how challenging it was to me this week. It's just like, I, I don't even know. It's, it is really amazing that there's that many hours of it. Plus, that doesn't even include color-alongs that I've done for other artists, color-alongs I've done for maybe like new books that I've released, painting classes. I, I guess one day I could sit there and add them all up, but time flies when you are having fun, as they say, Mamie is saying. I know, isn't it? You are so right. So Color Along Volume 17 will continue on. Um, we will begin on September 16th, so there will not be a column along. Uh, one day we will arrive on your doorstep, Linda's saying. Um, that is funny. Um, column along volume 17 will begin on September 16th, so two weeks from today. There is not a column along on um, September, September 9th. There is no column along next Thursday. Uh, Lynn has been asking me what I am doing with myself on September 9th. And I feel like I'm getting feeling pressure that now I have to do something exciting because <laughs> I don't know what Lynn thinks I'm doing on that day, but um, I know I have to take a dog to the vet. <laughs> That's about it. That's about the extent of my day on that day. The only reason why I didn't schedule it, anything on that day was to kind of give people time to transition into the other book. So um, that's what happened with that one. The other thing, what else do I want to talk about? So we've got Color 17, Color Along 17, Volume 17 starts on September 16th. I kind of wish it started on September 17th so it would, wouldn't be so confusion, confusing, but Color Along number 17 starts on the 16th. Got it? Books available on Amazon, or you can get the PDF um, on my website. What else did I want to tell everybody? Um, I don't know. Lynn and Dawn might know what I want to tell everybody more than I do at this point. Um, oh, I'm working on a new book. I'm working on a new uh, gnome coloring book. Many of you may have seen the um, pages that I've been posting. Hey, Heidi! Pages that I've been posting. Um, and I finished drawing it yesterday. I needed to just kind of like kick back and relax yesterday afternoon. So I decided to uh, kick back and relax by finishing drawing the book. So if anyone is interested in seeing it today while we're live, I can show everybody the book today. Um, I can, we'll flip through some of my pages. They're still in the sketching form. So, well, they, they, ha they don't have the pencil lines. It's just like my drawings. The other thing that is happening is that a, a lot of people, um, a lot of people in the coloring book world, whether they want to create a coloring book or they just love to color it and they collect coloring books. Yes, Lynn. Okay, that's next. Thank you. Lynn is my reminder. Um, a lot of people have wondered, how do you create a coloring book? You, and uh, several people have asked me to start creating some videos on what it, I'm taking you, walking people through the steps and kind of seeing what, um, hey, Carol, what it go, what actually goes into creating a coloring book from the, I guess, cons the time of like the, uh, the concept all the way to publication. So I have started a video series on my YouTube channel and you can head over to my YouTube channel um, and you can see there's a two video, well, I started them backwards, but the first video is what happens when I draw the actual page. So it's drawing the page with pencil and then uh, inking it. So that's one of the things that's up there right now. The next step will be uh, cleaning it up in my computer. So I'm and I'm doing this all through as I'm working on my gnome coloring book. So I'll be I'll be creating videos from that. So the next one will be uh, what happens to the page after you draw it. And I put it in the computer and I have to clean it up. I have to uh, get rid of my pencil lines and basically get it ready to be in the book. So that'll be the next one. And I'll also have a video on uh, as I assemble the book and turn it into a book, how I assemble, assemble the interior, as well as another video of designing the cover. So um, I hope that it'll be fun to watch. They're short little videos. They're not very long. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of, uh, I mean, I, I don't know what the benefit is for people seeing it, except just maybe curiosity. So 
So that's what's happening with those videos. So if you're interested in checking that out, maybe we can, you guys can head over to my uh, YouTube channel. And one of them also will be about um, the paper tooth of the book. We're going to talk about that also. You know, this all stemmed from this video the other day that I was uh, watching from someone. And I don't want to call out the name or anything right now because I don't want to cause any more turmoil. But anyway, it was this whole big to-do about this person on YouTube um, talking about paper tooth and really just having the wrong information or not, or did, was not, did not clarify whether or not the information was uh, her opinion or just information. And I put my two cents in and started this whole drama it was like the coloring book page scandal it was insane so i decided that rather than just keep uh fueling the fire here and causing all this turmoil and saying bad negative things i decided to just uh create my own information and my own videos so that i could share my knowledge with everyone um without having to uh get involved in somebody else's video so I want to make sure that people understand what is happening. Anywho, that's what's happening with that. Carol is here with us this morning, is asking, is everyone safe and dry? Yes, we did our check-in. Everyone is safe and dry. Jean had a lot of rain, um, a lot of kind of power outages here where I am. How did you How did you fare the weather, Carol? I know that there was a lot happening towards your neck of the woods. Um, all right, Lynn wants me to talk about uh coloring camp slash retreat meeting sessions blah 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 okay so coloring camp fall coloring camp now hear me out on this crazy idea i have because maybe it's not so crazy after all but we're gonna see right so here's my my thought i put a uh, a comment in the um in the just color coloring group let me just shop in this pencil first i posted in the just color coloring group about um what we should do for fall coloring camp. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not sure that I can uh, last through five days in a row, right, of coloring camp. And I'm going to tell you why. The technology has been so surprising lately. Now, I'm sure that a lot of people that are watching would agree with me that you, you log on to uh, Facebook and lo and behold, poof, there's a change. Well, imagine what's happening behind the scenes for me. It's the uh, same type of thing. So every time I log on, I think I've got this all figured out. I think I've got everything all set. I know what button to push, right? After 350 videos, you would think that, hey, know what I, do I know what I'm doing. Well, somebody up there does not want to make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And there's always a surprise. So um, I want to shorten it. Now, all that being said... I am not sure how to shorten it to meet everyone's qualification, everyone's needs and wants and desires. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that what if we just did coloring camp on one day and we hung out for, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. for four hours? What do you think about that? Oh, Carol's giving, I got to read Carol's comment first. And we would take a break for lunch and you could, well, I would have to take a break for lunch. I'd have to take a break to go to the bathroom for that matter. But we could eat while we're together. We could either do it on, we could do it um, just in the Facebook group where it would be live videos, just like a column along, like we typically do camp. We, or we could also add the option where if you wanted to join in in a Zoom room while the Facebook video was live and in the Facebook group, it would be only, um, the video, but in the Zoom room, we could all kind of see each other and talk to each other and, I don't know, take a look at what's what's in Lynn's kitchen while we're chatting, right? I don't know. Take a look at uh, what's behind me. I don't know, because what's behind me is kind of a mess. Uh, Carol's saying, we didn't have much more than some wind and a few showers. I have a friend back in New Jersey who watched both cars get washed away, and last I heard, she had three feet of water on the first floor. They were hanging out on the second floor waiting for a boat to come and rescue them. Oh, my goodness. Where, what, what town was she in? Bev's, Bev Larson saying good, but I know it's not in response to what Carol was talking about. So what is what are you saying good to? All right, so Jean is saying I don't do Zoom, So which would be fine because we would have... Um, the Facebook video live. So you would be in the Facebook group watching this, watching the color along. If you wanted to be able, wouldn't be able to do the one day thing Alice is saying. Okay. 
if you um, wanted to head over to the Zoom room and you would be able to hear everybody though in the Facebook Live. So I don't know. What do you think? It would kind of be like a, a four like a four hour workshop. Oh, good. The ten to two. Carol thinks that it's outside of Trenton and it's on the Delaware River. Yeah, I, I saw Trenton really got hit hard. Trenton, New Jersey. That's what I saw, Lynn. Remember I was telling you that? It's incredible. There's a, an area that's close to me, actually, that um, always floods. And someone put on Facebook this morning that he drove through it. And it's like, it's the street that's notorious for flooding and I'm not really sure why this guy decided to drive through it, but I guess he was just crazy, you know? So we need to explore this idea of this 10 to 2, uh, 10 to 2. I don't know what Paisley's barking at. Probably me. There'd be a lot of uh, let me go let the dog out. I'll tell you that much. So this one I'm just kind of doing a um, heavy pressure here on this side. And then a light pressure up here. And then the same thing here. Heavy pressure to light pressure. What color is everybody else using? Is everybody using blue or has everyone uh, ventured out to use a different color? Does the video keep freezing for you? See, technology, technology, technology. What is that? Wait a minute. What's happened here? It's back now. Right? Is it back? All right, let me help Paisley and I'll be right back. Right. I'll be right back. At least this is a Zoom meeting would be cool. So, and you wouldn't have to stay for the whole thing. You could pop in, pop out. Let me get Paisley something. Paisley, what's wrong with her? sorry about that i don't know what paisley thought was happening out there is it still frozen it's not so frozen is it okay back oh sandra's back okay back shopping all of my black widow pencils during the freeze right lynn all right so now it's back well i did get up for a minute to uh to let paisley out so but this is frozen frozen Uh, okay we're back all right so the other so let's talk about this whole uh camp thing let's make, make sure that i that everyone understands uh what i'm talking about so this is the the idea it would be one day 10 a.m to 2 p.m and i say that because it would be give us kind of like a um some wiggle room at the end of the day till three o'clock or something and then um we would be able to take some breaks. It would be 
lot the video the tutorial would be live on Facebook just like normal in a private Facebook group and then the other thing that would happen would be uh, we would also have a zoom room set up and if you wanted to come into the zoom room throughout the day pop in maybe for an hour maybe uh come leave for an hour come back for an hour, another hour a little while longer um you could just keep popping in and out as long as you as many times as you wanted to or you could just stick around for the whole day and stay the whole day um the videos would be recorded and available for replay after it was all over i would edit them down the video the replay video would only have what i'm coloring it would not have everybody's uh, if you're on the Zoom room and there's people and there's, uh, you're in the Zoom room, you will not be recorded. But your voice would be recorded. So, or your voice would be recorded in the Facebook video. So the 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 whole point would be that you could listen in on what everyone is saying. My phone was just buzzing, and I'm thinking, what is that vibrating noise next to me? I have no idea who it is. Hey, dear, how are you? How are you holding up in New Jersey with all this crazy weather? I'm so happy that you're here. It's always exciting and makes me a little bit nervous sometimes when another artist pops in. I have to pivot my page, by the way, so hang on. Um, I always think, oh, another artist is here. But I'm glad to see you. Um, you know, dear, I should, call, I should uh, email you or message you about a... Uh, a group that uh, Deborah Muller and I are part of um, that we've created, we've started about selling um, art artwork that is other than coloring book, like uh, paintings, illustrations, whatever, um, over in um, the Creative Souls Collective. It's an art collective, artist collective that we um, have created. I don't know if you're interested in something like that, but we've got, it's an auction site. And for those of you that would like to go take a look, it's really cool because there's um, myself, there's Deborah Muller, Nola Hensel, uh, another artist, Melissa Sides is there, and um, we're all auctioning off our artwork. There's different paintings that are being auctioned off. Like, for example, one of the things today is this painting that is available on that, um, that I, one of my paintings that's available for an auction. It's an auction-style format in the Facebook group, so... Um, anyway, this, it's a chance to kind of discover different artists, um, and a, just a different way to sell some things. So, and to kind of expose people to different art. I don't know. That's, that's what's happening. I should send you the, I'm going to send you the information, dear. Maybe you'd be interested. And if not, no big deal. Anywho. Um, so there's that. That kind of like, uh, good, we are usually safe despite being so close to the ocean. The pool is in bad shape, but that's what chlorine is for. Very true. Yeah, you're in New Jersey, right? Are you in New Jersey or New York, dear? Um, this one is electric blue again, and I'm going to go with this electric blue um, in a very light, light and then heavy pressure. But rather than going in the direction that I went in before, I'm going in the other direction. Does that make sense? So it gives it a little bit of contrast. It kind of creates a little bit of a texture. Um, that type of thing. New Jersey. Wow, New Jersey got hit hard, right? We have a lot of people watching today from New Jersey. A lot of people are right here, here live in the chat. There's a few people from New Jersey. Yeah, we had a lot of flooding here in southern New England, so, um, but luckily, nothing in my neighborhood. I'm very high up, like, there's, like, um, it's considered, like, the highest point in the state, one of the highest points. Not that I live on a mountain, but it's very high, so if you went to the, to the end of my street and took a left, you'd have to go down a hill. If you took a right, you'd have to go down a hill, so, um, it makes it a lot more Stre it makes it stress free when it comes to flooding. However, that doesn't doesn't uh, let my basement not get it. Lynn is at exit eight A on the New Jersey Turnpike. Turnpike. Turnpoint. I thought that said not, but at least I knew it was New Jersey Turnpike. Are you close to her, dear? All right. So there's that. 
kind of that pressure there with this electric blue. I think this looks cool in, um, in a monochromatic style, doesn't it? And then I'm just going to actually add some yellow to those to the flame. Isn't it kind of ironic that we're doing candles today on a day that a lot of people um, went through a storm and maybe didn't have power? Look at the irony. I don't know. It is a little ironic. This one is China Blue. Again, doesn't really look like that. Have you ever used these pencils, dear? This is um, Ashley Nicole Arts Woodless Colored Pencils. If anyone does not know Dia, by the way, Dia is also an, an artist and she has, a, a, I'm not sure how many coloring books you have, but she has some coloring books out and um, incredible, incredible, incredible. And congratulations, by the way, I saw your announcement that you now have an agent. I was, I was a little jelly as they say, but um, congratulations, Dia. All right. So this is China blue. So I'm just kind of giving it this por portion here. little bit of a heavy pressure there and as I get to this point I'm going to not that they can see me doing the candles exactly Bev right monochromatic coloring Heidi is saying she's giving it a heart I did a blue coloring of one of my books pages it looks like Delft ceramics oh um I never thought of it like that but you're right I think that there's some colors that look better as monochromatic does anybody feel that way i really or maybe it's just my personal well obviously it's my personal preference i mean <laughs> right i mean i think the blue looks great i think that um green looks really good in monochromatic i'm not really sure if i like how pink looks um the reason is that i think that pinks have a lot of different colors um that could see dia digs the monochromatic too i had a feeling that you would um, I think that pink, it feels like a lot of pinks can be very fuchsia, you know? And I think that when it really doesn't look like it's monochromatic as much as it just looks like it's a lot of different colors that almost kind of look the same. If that makes any sense. Do you understand me? Do you feel me? I don't know. Blue is a favorite color for Louisa. I mean, like even this color right now that I'm using, which I'm not even sure what it's called because it's so worn off, but it, this is almost like um, a turquoise. Lynn says, I like pinks, purples, lavender, violet. See? I mean, personal preference. It's, her, it's Lynn's own personal preference. Boy, the telemarketers are busy today. Oh my goodness. This is like my third phone call behind me. All right, so that's kind of like a turquoise. And then we could use uh, Prussian blue, which I really like it because I like the name. I like when you do the challenge and we had to do a pencil and just one. Oh, just a number two pencil. Yeah, that's my favorite. I haven't been doing any type of like uh, daily prompts or anything in the coloring group lately because people just were not participating. So I don't know who I was prompting. <laughs> I don't know who I was trying to get to color or draw or I don't know, sing or I'm not sure. So I don't know if we should go back to that. Like, I mean, I guess maybe we, we could, I don't know. I found color charts on Adobe the other day, a whole new world. Really? What kind of color charts? Like, um, just colors, dear? Or just like, um, or, um, like palette charts. Do you pick your colors ahead of time, though? I don't. I just kind of, like, go with my gut instinct. I wing it. You know? I wing it. I don't want to have, I don't want to get too like, you know, serious about art. Then it would be like math or something crazy, you know, just going to pivot a little bit. I'm going to use this color that I don't know the name of, Oh, maybe the name's on here. Wait a minute. Let me see. Um, maybe this is peacock blue. 
Ah, it is. This is Peacock Grove. Thank you, Bev. This is Peacock Blue, which is interesting that it really does not look like a peacock to me. But I guess I'm going to do a heavy pressure. The only thing that I do not like about woodless pencils is that unless I, maybe it's me with my Herculean grip pair, but I tend to break them a lot in my hand. So I'm not sure if it's just me or uh, it's the actual pencil. It's how I'm holding them maybe. Um, I don't know what it is. I guess it's maybe the angle that I hold them. I never pick a, a ahead of time. Sorry, not Trot's palettes. Oh, really? They, I didn't know they had palettes on Adobe. I'm going to have to look. Yeah, I never pick ahead of time either, dear. It's not... Um, I, I don't know. It's to make it, Doesn't it make it seem like it's too planned out and it's too serious? And it's like... I mean, this is not math. This is not calculus. This is not like... You got to just use your 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 gut. You got to use your own uh, gut instincts. You know, people talk about uh, all the time that they do not know what color goes with what color. And I always say to them, "Well, what are you wearing right now?" <laughs> because I am sure you're not that eight year old kid in the middle of a hot August day wearing, uh, you know, a plaid skirt with cowboy boots and. A fuzzy sweater that's like polka dots I'm sure you're not that so whatever you have picked yourself is probably okay and unless you're the person that we see online whose house looks like um, you know a bottle of Pepto-Bismol got sprayed all over it or is like really like you know the house that is never ever gonna sell unless you're that person you're probably doing okay so I don't know uh, you feel the color. Exactly, Louisa. And Louisa means you feel it. Uh, Dia's posted that that link to Adobe for those color palettes. That would be cool. Bev says, I pick colors as I go depending on how I feel it looks. Yeah. you got to kind of just kind of go with it. Does anybody else plan out their colors? We've, we've got a lot of non-planners. Um, I have a few color palette books. I have four of them on Amazon. And I'm going to tell you, they, they sell a lot. They, they People buy those books. I don't know if it's just to kind of flip through them. There's my yellow, and I am seeing that I forgot these stripes right here. So I'm going to go with China Blue. Oh, by the way, do not drop these. You are a Walmart person. You're right. Oh, my goodness. Do you think that the people that dress like that at Walmart know that they're like... Do you think they do it on purpose to become people of Walmart? Or do you think that they ever, or do you think that they ever go anywhere else dressed like that? Like, do you think it's staged? You know? Although, I did see someone that didn't have any pants on one day walking down the street. So, I don't know. Sometimes I have days where it's like bizarro day. Just has just entered my world. You know? It's like everything that is bizarre is going to be in front of me. Bizarro day. We need to stop at the door. At Walmart? Are you saying that you're a, a people of Walmart and you're stopping at the door with your outfit to get it checked in? Is that what you're talking about? I think that Bev is trying to tell us something about herself. All right, let's take a look at what we did in this book because this was a huge accomplishment. This page is finished. There's our monochromatic one. Let's see. We we're talking about what was accomplished with this book so textures with tape was our first one uh do you find some pencils feel so good to color with and some are bleh exactly yeah i really love spare farben colored pencils i love black widows i do not like prismacolors um i'm not really a fan of prismacolors and you know what's interesting is that a lot of people complain about prismacolors uh color on um the paper and coloring books and i question whether or not they want the color to be because Prismacolors to me are very grainy. And if you're not, if you look like this is a Prismacolor page that was called the Speckle Technique. This was Prismacolor, the landscape edition. Um, if you are looking for something that is not going to be grainy, then Prismacolors are not for you. That's what I say. So you need to really kind of uh, question whether or not you, uh, what pencils you really want. I think they just don't care what they look like when they go to Walmart. You think? Hey, Sherry, good to see you. Stop those people. It's offensive. I know maybe they should stop them at the door. 
This was one we colored with woodless colored pencils. I think I used the Koinor ones for this grayscale page. And then here's one shading with colored pencils. Again, this was a spare Farben one. Um, depends on what you want to do. This is my 16th volume of this book, dear. It's the Color Along book. So every time I do a Color Along, they're always free to watch. And if you people, if anyone wants to color what I'm coloring, they can get my Color Along book and color along with me. And it's a variety book. And it's usually either a, a, a unique book that all the pages are like this or, or specific to the book, or it's a variety of my other coloring books. So this is my 16th volume. Today is my 352nd Color Along. Color Along number 352. I can't even believe it. And that doesn't even count Color Alongs I usually do for other people, coloring camps, the whole bit. So I'm not even sure how many we have. Um, color Along volume 17, for those of you that are joining us later, um, will begin on September 16th. Tuesday, September, I'm sorry, Thursday, September 16th. There is not a Color Along on September 9th. Okay, so that's next week. This was warm colors. We talked about synesthesia where we were talking about uh, do you see the days of the week in color? I do. Friday is orange. Um, well, you rock too, dear. Let me tell you. Uh, just a number two pencil. Um, here was one that we added some yellow. So that was a number two pencil that Bev was talking about. Watercolor pencils. Uh, this was the stained glass technique that we did with oil pastels. Uh, we did this one in pointillism which is really not pointillism when it comes to actual art, like fine arts, um, but we kind of employed that technique in uh, coloring, so we applied it to that. Grayscale coloring page, blending with colored pencils. This was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Uh, bolding, where we outline the outside, the lines on the page. So this technique was, a lot, was very cool. Uh, here's one from Neutral Colors, and we had a lot of, top, a lot of conversation about what color is neutral. What's a neutral color? A lot of people think it's only brown or gray or... Um, I kind of think of neutral colors as muted. Um, so that's why we went with some muted purples and some muted blues and even some muted oranges. And then uh, make it pop. What happened here? Did, we, did I take the day off here? I don't know what happened here. Did we not do this one? I'll have to look at that one. Just five colors was another technique. We worked on oil pastels for this still life. I don't know what I'm going to do next Thursday. I'm going to be lost for one hour. Maybe you should hang out with Lynn because Lynn is convinced that Lynn said the same thing to me. Lynn said, Lynn wants to know what I'm doing on September 9th. She thinks that there's like something happening. Northern Lights. This was cool because we did this with chalk pastels and we also used some colored pencils in this and just kind of created a Northern Light sky. Uh, just a blue pen, uh, just, and I put some blue colored pencils in the background. Boy, these color belongs really have become a, a community gathering, don't you think? I mean, look at Alice's comment. I don't know what I'm going to do next Thursday. I know, isn't it weird? This one was Impressionism style, and we did this one with crayons, and we did short strokes, because Impressionism painting is all about short strokes and textures created by the brush strokes. So we uh, applied that technique to a coloring page and created an impressionistic, impressionistic style. Um, colored pencils on this grayscale page and then we added some olive oil to the top of it, which I really should not have done that because I felt like I would, hey, have a great day, dear. Thanks so much for popping in. Feel free to pop in anytime. And then uh, the, today is our monochromatic one. So two weeks from today, we begin Color Along Volume 17. I'm excited about that book. I should go get it and, and show you what we're doing for that, right? Let me go grab that book. And I can show you my normal book before we go. Wow, I almost couldn't find it. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? All right. So today was great. Is all great. Great along with others. Thank you. Same thing when you move to Monday to Thursday. So what did you do on Mondays? You do a lot of crafts, though, Alice. I think you can find something to do. No, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself that day. I feel like I need to like uh, pretend I went on vacation. I don't know. This is my gnome book. So this is what I'm drawing right now. I'm working on right now. It's, I think I finished drawing it. I just need to scan it and begin. And I'm going to be videotaping 
and doing some videos on the cre how to create this book. So my next video will be uh, what happens to these pages when I pop them into the computer and what do I do with them? And I think that I do the same thing with them as everybody else does. Um, so every other artist does. So I'm, I'm hoping that I'm not going to be doing something wrong. Um, so this is what this is. This is an, another gnomes book. I have no idea what the title is going to be yet. There's still some pencil lines on here that didn't make it for the ink. Um, but it's vertical rather than horizontal, unlike the other gnome books. And there will be some dogs and some cats. I will figure it out, but it will feel funny. Oh, you guys are so sweet. I, mean, I feel like maybe I need to do another type of video that day just to kind of hang out with everybody. I do need to take Paisley to the vet, though. Um, so this one is vertical rather than horizontal. Gnomes are us. Oh, that's a good name. Gnomes are us. Gnomes among us. Gnomes that walk amongst, amongst us, right? Amongst, is it among or amongst? Amongst, I think, right? Here's another dog. There are some cats in this. These are the only gnomes that are in this book that are wearing pants. And did we talk about this? Or was this about our conversation last week about whether or not gnomes wear pants or if they have faces, right? So, um... These guys are wearing pants. I think they look weird, to be honest with you. So I'm not sure if the gnomes will continue wearing pants. And then some of them have some mushrooms in them. Some of them have houses. Gnome Town. That's a good one. Gnome Zone, maybe saying. Whew. How about Big... Maybe it should be called... Oh, Gnome Town is a good one, actually. Gnome Zone. I like that, too. Does this mean I need to do three different books? Gnome Zone, Gnomes Are Us, and Gnome Town? To love me is to know me. I think someone has a book like that. It was Faces, right, Jean? You're right, it was. This one has a few different dogs in it. There's six dogs and three people, which I think should be the ratio to dogs and people, to be honest with you. Um, another little crowd standing in front of the house. I don't know where these gnomes think they're going. A couple of cats. Hanging with the gnome. This guy does not like cats. Some fish and some tuna hanging from the top here. Um, I had to put these gnome lovers in because uh, with some candles because they just needed to make it. Every, each gnome needs a name. When in gnome, I get it. When in gnome, do as the gnomans do. Are you a gnome or are you a gnomin? Right? Each gnome needs a name. I know they do need a name, don't they? You think I need more female gnomes? Maybe, huh? I feel like this is a polygamist family. I mean, this is like a, um, not polygamist. The opposite. I feel like this, this, like, I'm starting to feel like all these gnomes think that maybe that one female gnome is with them, right? Maybe you're right, Alice. I don't want them to think that she's like, you know, the town gnome, Right? The, the she-gnome, the town she-gnome. We don't want to call her what I'm thinking of. You know, the working girl. We don't want her to think she's the working girl amongst the gnomes. That would be funny, wouldn't it? All right. So here we are with Color on Volume 17. Let's talk about what is happening for this, and then I will let you go because I know everyone uh, needs to get on with their day. Only one female Smurf. You're right. But that poor girl, right? So this book is going to have uh, several different topics, right? Pointillism, and it's kind of Christmassy a little bit. So our first one was going to be kind of a Christmassy thing. Just two colors. There's a gnome again. This book has, there was only one girl, Gnome Life. Oh, I like that one. Um, this one has pages from all different books. So this is a variety book. This has markers. This is from Relaxing Frenzy. This one's from uh, Good Vibes Coloring Book for glitter gel pens. Scarlet's View book is going to be shading and colored pencils. I'm just going to keep it on this way so I don't have to keep flipping it. Watercolor pencils, this comes from the uh, Gnomes in Love book. This is from Hypnotic, just a blue pen. No Holiday Gnomes, uh, bright colors will be for this one. Here's one for Tiny Houses. It's for Night Skies because I thought this would be cool to give each house a night sky. Wood grain technique is comes from... Uh, Oh, what book is this from? It's from a Mandala book. Mandala Beauty, Volume 1, I believe. 
And this one is from my Flamingo book. This is going to be the burnishing technique. I don't think I've ever called it an entire page in the burnishing technique. This one is from Flowers Grayscale. It's grayscale with colored pencils. Monochromatic comes from uh, Home Sweet Home. This one comes from Gnome Friends. And it's patterns. Grayscale with colored pencils comes from, I believe this is from Rustic Beauty. I think it's, no, that's not Rustic Beauty. Landscape Beauty. I'm sorry, Landscape Beauty. The Bolding Technique comes from um, Springtime Whimsy. Speckled comes from Mandala Delight. I'm sorry, not Mandala Delight. Mandala Fury. This is Speckled with colored pencils. And Grayscale with woodless colored pencils comes from Simple Beauty. Heart Mandalas is just a number two pencil. This comes from um, Sketched which is a grayscale illustration book from Mix, Mixed Media. This is from one of my newer books, Architectural Beauty, grayscale with colored pencils. The Sloth Book makes an appearance for complementary colors. And we're back to pointillism. So 22 pages to color, 22 color alongs for this book, and two copies of every page. And at the back of it, there's some color charts, some swatch charts, um, so that you can add some colors and some you can swatch out what you're doing. So, we begin on September 16th at 10 a.m. We're going to be coloring this book all the way until February 17th. So, I hope you can join me in two weeks from today. I don't know what I'm going to do next Thursday either, Alice. I guess maybe I'll have to come over and hang out with you. Um, I'll pick up Lynn on the way, I guess. And we'll have to go hang out with Alice. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me for Color Along number 352. I feel like we should start counting them before we, so until we get to, num, to number 400. And on number 400, it should be kind of like a celebration. But I would love to hear back from everyone about what they think about the a 10 to 2 uh, coloring camp. Um, I'm really eager to hear from everyone about what we should do about that because um, I... I kind of think it's a cool idea. I think it would be fun. I think it would be a work, like a workshop you would attend. Um, you could take a break. We would have breaks. And just kind of eager to hear about it. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Stay safe today. Thanks so much.